Hi, I'm Ron Polk. So my project right now is to come up with an organization uh, accoutrement for uh, my six inch uh, sandpaper. This is the sandpaper I use the most of. I have a, a variety of grits and um, when it gets old, I fold it and use it to hand sand with. Uh, so anyway, um, I've got it in a in a, one of my plastic bins and they're sort of crammed all together. I don't like to keep them in their individual boxes because it takes up too much space. And so I pull them out of their boxes, put them all together. And I've got a lot of different grits. And so uh, they're, they're sort of organized, but I have to look and, and try to figure out which is which. And uh, so I want to have a dividing, uh, a, a bo I want to build a box with, the, with movable dividers and those dividers I want to label so that I know 60, 80, 120, uh, 220, you know, etc. And um, so they, that bin fits in a drawer. So I've gone down and measured that. And now I want to jump into SketchUp. And before I go to the shop, I want to uh, design uh, what I want. And so I'm going to build it mostly out of half inch plywood and a little bit of quarter inch. And I know that the um, uh, drawer uh, front to back is 16 inches, but I want a little room to be able to wedge stuff uh, in, in front of this box or behind the box. So I think I'm going to go with uh, 14 inches long and um, the drawer is seven and a half inches deep. So that'll be good for my six inch sandpaper. I'll be able to have the dividers taller so I can label them. And so I want the inside of the box to be uh, six and a half and the inside of the, you know, the both uh, width and height, I'm going to go six and a half, six and a half. That'll give a little bit of space to protect the sandpaper so it doesn't get crushed. So I'm going to start by uh, grabbing my rectangle tool. And I am in the front mode uh, looking, you know, straight on. So I think I'm going to go to the top down view here. And I'm just going to grab in this corner, just draw out a rectangle. And I'm going to type in uh, 6.5 comma and I said I wanted to go 16 is the overall so I want to go 14 enter and so that gives me the kind of the footprint of it and uh, the base is going to be uh, quarter I'm going to use quarter inch material so I'm going to hit P or actually I'm going to right click hit group just to group that in then I'm going to Grab that surface and I'm going to come up 0.25 inches. And so that gives me the base. Uh, I'm going to make the sides in the back and the front out of half inch. And what I am going to do is uh, screw the backs onto the sides. So I'm going to go take my T key for tape measure. I'm going to come in 0.5, enter. And you can see how it automatically goes to half inch. It kind of remembers your last one. Saves a little time. Okay, so I'm going to hit my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a nice little rectangle right there. I'm going to right click. I'm going to make a group. Actually, I got a uh, double left click to select everything and then right click and make group. And then I'm going to grab this and hit push pull and I said six and a half the overall height but I've got a quarter inch on the base so I'm gonna go 6.25 it'll still be bigger than the sandpaper and then I am going to grab this and go move tap the option key gives me a little plus for copy and I'm gonna grab that corner I'm gonna drop it right there and then um, I want to uh, fill in the two sides so I'm going to grab my rectangle tool again. And I'm going to just grab to where it locks on there and pull there. And I'm going to double click on it to select everything and then make a group. And I'm going to go into that group, push pull, pull up, match the top. And then I am going to, now I want to make some dados in this. So before I make the copy of it, I'll do the dado so I don't have to do this twice. So I'm going to, um, Get my black arrow tool, click on it, move, and I'm going to just bring it out and hit my orbit tool so that I can make these dados. Now, what I'll do is I will lay them out first. 
Uh, this is a half an inch wide, so I'm going to make the dados a quarter of an inch deep. And I'm using a um, quarter inch material, so I'll make them a quarter inch wide. So it'll be a quarter by quarter. So if I go hit my tape measure tool, and I'll just find a center one just to so that it'll be a mirrored copy. I'm going to go this way, one eighth enter, and then come this way, one quarter enter. And then I'm going to delete that middle one. And then let's see if I want them uh, about probably two inches apart. Give me a little bit of flexibility. I'll see how that works out. So I'm going to grab that, hit two, enter. I'm going to grab this and hit 0.25, enter. Then I'm going to go two and then... I can hit quarter or 0.25, same, same thing. And so that gives me one, two, three. So that gives me six. So if I did say 60, 80, uh, 120, then uh, I think I use 180, 223. That should be enough. I could uh, shrink them down a little bit, but I'm going to go with that. Um, could make them one inch and give me a little more flexibility. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So I'm going to hit Command Z, 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 Command Z. I still have my center one, so I'm going to go one enter and go 0.25 enter. Same thing, one enter, 0.25 enter. One enter, 0.25 enter. And you see I'm just taking the tape measure tool and laying these out. Oh. And then that leaves my last one. It's a little more than an inch, but that's close enough. So I'm going to just... Uh, do the same thing. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to go down. I want to go into it one quarter of an inch, about halfway through. So I'm going to go into the group. I'm going to take my rectangle tool, grab on the corner there, come all the way over to the intersection, click on that. You can see how now that's giving me it's divided up the groups. So I'm going to take this, push, or it's divided up the surface, push it down, 0.25, enter. And then I'm going to take my rectangle tool and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just click. I'm in the group, so I'm dividing up the surface. If I wasn't in the group, I'd be drawing these on top, but I really want to split the surface. And so again, I could copy these over, but I'm just going to draw them out a little bit slower, but this is such a small project. Sometimes I just do things a different way because it's, I'm interested in doing it that way. So I'm going to click on that, P key, double click, double click, double click, double click. And it remembers the last push, so I don't need to type it in. Okay, so now I'm going to go edit delete guides, file, save. And now I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to move this back into place. And you know what? I got to make sure that I did this right. I can fix it if I didn't. I needed to have about six and a half inches uh, between. So if I come over here, I know this is going to be half an inch. 0.5, enter. And if I grab my dimension tool and just click there to there. Yeah, see, I goofed up. So um, I, um, I did not account in the width of these uh, for the half inch and the half inch. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I want to have 
all three of these a little bit longer. And so basically I need to add an inch because I was at five and a half, I'm gonna be at six and a half. So I'm gonna go in here, grab that surface, push, pull, come out, one inner. Same thing here, get into that group, get on that surface, push, pull, just double click. Get into this group, grab onto that surface, push, pull, double click. Now I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to move, tap the option key for copy, and I'm going to move it over to there. Now I need to scale it, so I'm gonna hit the S key and I'm gonna grab that middle and I'm gonna go that direction. If you look in the lower right hand corner, it's minus one, so that's a mirrored copy. Now I'm just gonna tap my move tool and grab that corner and drop it right there. And I just wanna verify that I got all this right. So I'm gonna grab my dimension tool. I'm gonna to grab the bottom, come up to here, six and a quarter, and go there to there, six and a half. So I could be six and a quarter on the width too, but I'm gonna stick with that. And I am going to delete those dimensions. First, I'm gonna edit, delete guides. I'm going to delete those dimensions. I'm gonna try an angle view. I wanna see if I can get all the dimensions. Change the camera back to perspective. I don't wanna to have to make uh, copies and do more than one print, but I wanna see all the dimensions so I'm going to move that one down so I can see it and I'm going to go ahead and move that one down at this angle I think I like it better that way same thing with this one move so I'm going to delete that one and I am going to grab my tape measure tool again so I changed my mind on this mainly for print I want to have this uh, print out one little small page and give me all the data that I need. And so I've got seven and a half, I got one, two, I don't need these guys, I'll delete that. Gotta select it, delete, select it, delete. So that gives me my seven and a half by, um, one and a quarter, and then I know this is uh, one and a half. The bottom is gonna be one and a half by seven and a half. I'll go ahead and dimension this again down here. And then let's see, let's just for fun, let's put these on. And yeah, maybe they look good out there. And then these are one inch. Select that, move, and then let's dimension. Dimensions are free, so just make sure you put enough on your drawings. Delete that, grab it again. Okay, so one inch, an inch and three eighths on the outside. I'll do one more just to remind myself. And I'm going to just grab one of these. Move. Don't need my color bucket there. So I look at this and I know that my height, and my width of the ends, my length, and I will, yeah, my height of the sides. I know my spacing. And let's see what else. That gives me all the info I need. I'm gonna screw these together through the ends with a few screws and glue. And then the bottom, I'll either use screws and glue or just some nails and glue. All right, so that is that. I'm going to hit uh, File, Save. So I'm going to hit Print. 
And now I will be able to go grab it off the printer, go down to the shop. I love all the data I need. And so what I'll do is I will, after I get down there, I will make a video. Uh, so it'll be the next video up, hopefully, and I'll show you uh, the drawer that I'm working on, what I'm working on as far as uh, the sandpaper and the bin that I'm using. And then I'll take you through the process of building this quickly and easily and having a nice little organizational thing. Now, I didn't, uh, I didn't actually draw in the dividers, um, but uh, we'll, we'll figure those down in the shop. They're actually going to be, instead of six and a quarter, I think I'm going to have them stick up six and three quarters. So it'll be the width to fit in there a little loosely and then but they'll stick up higher and so that I can put labels on the tops kind of like a tab so we will uh, see how that uh, turns out all right if you like these uh, CAD videos technology and woodworking be sure to like them uh, subscribe to the channel share them with others and uh, if you want a set of workbench plans click on the link right here in the video thanks for taking the time to watch have a great day